This is 7 News with Jennifer Kite. Good evening. It's been a dramatic start to the duck hunting season with a protester shot in the face. The incident near Donald has fueled tensions between those who love the sport and opponents who want it banned. Bloodied and dismayed. Oh, nice tomato sauce, love. Melbourne protester Julia Simons was hit by a bullet near Donald in the state's northwest just hours after the season opened. Shut Have a look face. at her temple. Pellet wounds to her face and hands serious. As long as she's OK. In the first protester shooting in 25 years. Apparently the shooter was uh, firing low on the water at a bird and uh, uh, swung the gun around and, and Julia got hit as the duck tally began. Shooters say protesters blatantly flaunt safety regulations. And entered the water before 10am. Now this is putting people in front of firearms, they're putting themselves at risk. Later a 58 year old hunter was flown to the Royal Melbourne Hospital after his gun blew up in his hand at Kahuna. The drought had seen shooter numbers plummet, but the big wet seen a big return. More than 2,000 hunters were at Lake Bulloch, just one of 20 hunting wetlands in Victoria. To encourage more shooters back to the lakes, protesters say Field and Game Australia is offering new competitions, offering big prize money. A large contingent of government and police officers are on watch. And there were people that entered those waters that didn't have that appropriate paperwork. 77 fines were issued, 54 to protesters. This will strengthen our resolve. Margaret Decker, 7 News.